One way to test the compression on your chainsaw is to take out the spark plug right here. And there's a really simple way with your thumb. If you take it and hold it over the um, cylinder, and whenever you crank it, it should push your thumb off. You shouldn't be able to hold your thumb there. And that's in the range of about 80 to 140. Or you could just use a compression tester. These are great. I would highly recommend picking one up. And this just screws right into the cylinder. And then it'll tell us the compression whenever we crank over the engine. When I crank it, I should get anywhere from 80 to 140. So it looks like we're right on 120. So it's right at 120 and that's where we want it to be. That's right in the middle of the two ranges and that has good compression. So these compression testers are just a necessity if you're working on engines. We got this a few years ago at Harbor Freight for $15 and it's been working great ever since. So if we try the thumb test, I put my thumb on the hole, crank it. It's really hard, I think, to get an accurate reading because it's moving so much. Your thumb will slide off or it'll move a little bit. It's hard to, I think, get an accurate reading, but it is blowing air out, which is what we want. So if you don't have a compression tester available, this test, I think, does work. You can see it's moving my thumb. So I would recommend using the compression tester, but in a pinch, this would work. So there's three different reasons that a chainsaw won't be working or starting. It has to have spark. It might not be getting spark, so you want to check that. The compression could be bad, or it's getting the wrong fuel mixture. So that's how you check the compression, and I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.